pyramid magnets have been a, a real fascination. There are some people who think that the geometric shape of a pyramid has some mystical powers to it, and I'm not sure if that's true, but I do know what they can do with magnetic fields. Here's one of the ones that is my largest pyramid magnet. This is four inches tall from here to here. It has a three quarter inch square top and it has a four inch square base. This is about a nine pound magnet and is extremely powerful. The customers who have used this one, I've had uh, one researcher who has been working with this for several years and he used it in his PhD research for magnetic stress relieving on welds. He was having to rent time on a large superconducting magnet in order to run his experiments, but he found that the magnetic field between eight and 9,000 Gauss, and in some cases a little over 9,000 Gauss, on this magnet was high enough to accomplish his goals without having to do anything else. But to have a static magnetic field that is approaching a Tesla covering three quarters of an inch uh, is quite an enormous magnet. This one is uh, not actually made from one piece. If you notice carefully, you'll see the lines indicating this was three pieces of magnet material that was made and then glued together. And I've had this one for several years. It's been an enormous magnet and had a lot of applications here. And in some cases, we've just let people borrow it for a little bit, but I've got uh, this magnet. One of the things that we like to do is look at the different sizes of pyramids. I'm gonna move this one so it's out of our way. That is an N45 pyramid magnet. I also have these two inch pyramid magnets. This is a two inch square base with a one inch square top that is one inch thick. This magnet has been by far the most widely used uh, pyramid magnet that I have. When I look at this one and I think about how this one has been used, it really surprises me. It started off as I wanted to get a magnet that could focus the magnetic field and make it stronger. Now keep in mind that this material is, is such that when it's magnetized, it is magnetized in straight lines. And as the magnetism is traveling through the material in a pyramid shape, it would normally want to come out through the sides, but it sees that its ability to stay inside the material the material has a much higher permeability than air. And so it stays in and it intensifies the field on this end. What we've done is reduce the cross-sectional area by a factor of four. We went from four square inches on this end to one square inch here. Now you don't get a 4X multiplication of your strength, but you do get a significant increase in field strength. This one would be somewhere in the 7,000 gauss across this surface. Here's some of the applications we've used this for. It has fan been fantastic and has worked extremely well in every application where, where a customer has tested it at erasing the highest grade of digital tapes, digital storage tapes, digital video tapes, audio tapes, whatever it is, one pass past this magnet will wipe it out. Sometimes we will use it to make sure we're getting stronger fields and penetrating all the way through three quarter inch and one inch thick tape. We will put, the, put on the base of this a two inch N50 cube. When you put that on there, you extend this magnetic field some so that it has enough penetrating power to go all the way through even the most uh, resistant tape. It will wipe it out. We also have had a hard drive manufacturer that has had device made. This very quickly erases hard drives. They simply slide the hard drive in between an array of two of these where one is above the other. And as soon as they slide it in, rotate the platter, the drive is clean as a virgin, uh, as a virgin tape or a virgin drive again. We also have a smaller version of our pyramid that's a one inch pyramid. Now a lot of people get this one for the purpose of seeing how intense this field is. And this field actually gets very strong. It's around a 7,000, 7,500 gauss field as well, but it's only one eighth of an inch square. This one has a one inch square base, one inch tall, and a one eighth, uh, one -eighth inch square top. A lot of people want to put these two together. So we'll do that with this example. I'll take the two inch pyramid, but we definitely want to use a wooden wedge so that we do not break anything. They snap together, slide the wedge out, then it sits on top of it, making much closer to a real pyramid than a truncated frustuming. You can get the idea how the other one was made, the four inch one, by stacking it up. And this is a, this one would actually be a two inch square tapering to one eighth of an inch thick and would be two inches tall as a pyramid. 
We also have some smaller ones. A lot of people just want to see the smaller ones and how they work. This one is a uh, very tiny 10 millimeters across on each base. This one's even an example of a three-sided pyramid as opposed to the four-sided ones. And it tapers to a six millimeter triangular shape across the top and it's 10 millimeters thick. And this gives us another good example of the pyramid forces. One of the things that we want to do is look at a haulback array that I have made. One of the strongest magnetic fields that I've seen or read about anywhere as a static magnetic field. Let's take a look at this giant array. This is my eight pyramid magnet. These are roughly two inch square bases. They're a little over an inch thick, about an inch and a quarter thick, tapering to what is inside is about a one half inch square surface. You will notice that these are eight. Each of these have been magnetized differently. I have two of these that are magnetized from the base to the tip, and they're the opposite poles. To help improve the haulback process, what I've done is had these magnets in the corners magnetized at a 45 degree angle to the base. So these are not, well like you do normally when you make a haulback, they use cubes and just rotate the cube. In this case, I actually had it magnetized at a 45 degree angle and put in place. This one is magnetized across from sides parallel to the bases. This one also is magnetized at 45 degrees in the other direction to come around to this one. What it creates is an extremely intense field in between these two magnets. It's mounted in this extremely large steel array and what we've done is stacked little magnets inside. Across the normal gap here, we would have about an 11 to 12,000 gauss field strength in that entire area just straight across here. But one of the things I like to do is use my magnet stacking technique, which really amplifies the magnetic field. I've got these special magnets that are thin and, and N50 material, and they allow me to focus the field to between, to this half, or actually this is about a four or five millimeter field or gap between them, and it's two five millimeter square surfaces. So basically a five millimeter cubic volume of space and this permanent magnetic field in this area has measured in the 17, 16,700 to 17,000 gauss area, depending on the probe and, and when I've tested it. And so this magnetic field is incredibly powerful. We even made this one for when you don't use the magnet stacking it, we have a small hole in it that goes all the way through this magnet to the center and it was for the purposes of doing some research. I had two of these made, one of them for a customer that was doing research, and he needed a way to create in, uh, in that gap on the surface of either of these magnets, that's what the field is. When you combine that, you get three Tesla in the air gap on a permanent magnet field. So this is an enormously powerful magnet, and it's made from eight of these pyramid magnets. So as you can see, there are many applications for permanent magnets made in the shape of a pyramid. If you have any other questions or you have some thoughts or ideas about pyramid magnets, don't hesitate to ask.